Hey y'all, this your girl Trail Beauty T coming at you with this dynamic nail supply haul. Please stay tuned if you are interested in these acrylics. They was less than $10. Check them out y'all. Okay, hey y'all, this your girl Trail Beauty T. And I am here to swatch some dynamic nail supply acrylics with y'all. So I did buy um, one ounce jars. These one ounce jars go for $6 on the website. I also wanted a certain color and they only had it available in a two ounce jar. They pretty big, y'all. They pretty big for the two ounce and this was only eight dollars so two dollars more this is not bad i would recommend this particular brand to beginners if um they're not trying to break the bank and just starting out and you know just want to save some coin i mean that's for anybody but um these are beginner friendly so please don't shy away from them i'll have dynamic nail supply um I'll have them listed down below so that we can go ahead and, you know, y'all can go and purchase from them if y'all like what y'all see. I also am testing out this acrylic on this, um, this sheet right here. You can get this sheet from Amazon if you um, are a beginner and you need help um, practicing your liquid to powder ratio. It also, you can't see it. I do have it upside down because I wanted the little beads so I can swatch for y'all. But, um, it does have, you know, um, the shapes and everything on here. So you can practice your shape, your almond oval square, um, uh, stiletto ballerina and round nails. So, uh, I'll have this mat linked down below. And I also did buy some dynamic nail supply EMA monomer. It is a no MMA monomer medium set, non yellowing formula. I bought this in a four ounce and I believe this was about $8. So yes, let's go ahead and get ready for these swatches, y'all. I am so excited about these. I, I think I picked out some really beautiful colors. And also just to let y'all know, I did swatch these on the swatch stick before the video so that this video wouldn't be so long. Um, so yeah, the first one up we're gonna do is this color right here. And it is called Tiffany, which is my real name, Tiffany. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and swatch this out. And I am using their monomer with this. So yeah, let's get into it. And I'm, today I'm going to be using my uh, Kiera Sky number 10 brush uh, for swatches. I do not do nails with this brush anymore because it is small to me. So, yeah, let's go ahead and swatch this beautiful blue color out. And that's what it is. And let's do it here. And y'all about to get two lessons in one day. You don't want to be chasing these beads around this mat. That's how y'all know if you got the right liquid to powder ratio. All right. You don't want to play with it either. So this is it right here. Clean that up a little bit. And that's Dynamic Tiffany. Let me show y'all it on the swatch stick. And this is what it looked like on the swatch stick. So yeah, that's Tiffany. The next one we're going to do is called Winter Melon, which is this pretty pastel looking green. Let's get that open. There y'all go. And make sure you wiping off y'all brush in between, man. The worst thing to do is get acrylic stuck in your brush. And you have to clean it out. And what you do with that is, if you do have to clean it out, 
what I recommend, what I was taught in nail school was um, take a little bit of um, acetone and monomer and go on ahead and let it soak in there for like three minutes. Now I know 10 minutes or your brush is going to be ate the hell up. All right, that's winter melon. I know, y'all. I'm a little bit rusty with acrylics. I've been out of school for a minute, so. And I don't be really practicing no more, but it is what it is. Y'all get the gist. That's winter melon. And this is it swatched on a, there you go. This is it swatched on the swatch stick. The next one we are gonna do is called Enchanted Gold. That's this. Real pretty gold flakes in here. Uh, I got this because sometimes I don't want to take out my gold foil. And yeah, I wanted to see if this was going to work. These are really buttery. Look at that. Real pretty. And y'all see how that's kind of running a little bit around on the mat? It's a little bit too much monomer in there. I didn't drain off, but this is it. That's why I love this mat when I was in school. It really helped me a lot to kind of get that liquid to powder ratio down pat. But that is Enchanted Gold. And here is the swatch of it. Let me find it for y'all. Oh, there it is. And here is that swatched on the swatch stick. There we go. The next one I'm going to do for you guys is this really pretty pink. My son took the sticker off, but it's called bubble gum. I had it written down on the swatch stick, so that's how I remember it. Let's go ahead and swatch this one. And I let it sit on the brush for a little bit before I put it down. And it should be releasing. And make sure you wipe off your brush in between. I cannot stress that enough. Wipe your brush off, okay? Wipe off your brush. Yeah, see, that's nice. Okay. And it's a smooth formula, y'all. This is really pretty. This is bubble gum on the swatch stick. Real pretty pink. Nice for summertime. I know the girls love pink, hot pinks and all that other stuff. But let's see what else we gonna try out. We gonna do 177. We swatching all 20 of these. So please, you know, if you, if you made it this far in, baby, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell because I have a lot of videos coming up for y'all. You don't want to miss. This is 177. This is what it looked like in a jar. And let's see it swatched. Really pretty, pretty um, natural looking pink. Um, I definitely will use this for like a, a overlay. Most definitely, it's really pretty pink. Neutral color. I'm going to play with it too much more. But that is 177. Freshly swatched on the mat. Let's go ahead and get that on the swatch stick. And this is what it looks like on the swatch stick. Real pretty. 
And also, what I would like to recommend is when you buy these acrylics, because I, I do stay in Las Vegas. Um, they travel from Houston, Texas. H-Town, woo, woo They travel. So, what I recommend is you kind of take the jar and kind of shake it up a, just a little bit to kind of um, get it all mixed in. Because, it, it, you know, in the mail, it does, you know, get bumped around a lot in transit so you know you want these to mix properly and not marble so just go ahead and give it a little shake um when you get them the next one is pale purple which is a really pretty light purple um and it kind of reminds me of like a jelly color real pretty let's go ahead and get this a swatch Ah, uh, yeah, look at that. And let's go on here and swatch it on the... Yeah, I put a little bit too much this time, but that's okay. A little bit too much liquid, but that's all right. That's what this mat is for. It's going to help you. Now, if, you know, you get this mat, it's going to definitely help. I recommend it. It helped me so much. And this is what pale purple look like on the swatch. Real pretty purple. That's pale purple. Oh, this next one is one of my hey, Oh, my goodness. It's my favorite. One of my favorite ones. It is a glitter. It's called... Fire quartz, fire quartz. Let's so go ahead and open this up and swatch this. Look at this. Look at this, y'all. Look how pretty that is. That is so pretty. Yes, look at that. Let's go ahead and swatch this out. And they monomer works well, like. Haven't had no issues with it. Now, these acrylics, I ain't going to lie, they kind of set kind of slow. Like medium set. That's all right, though. Look at that. Look at this glitter. Fire. That's what they remind me of. How pretty this is. This is beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous, stunning. It's called Fire Quartz. And this is what the swatch stick look like. Look at that, y'all. Pretty. This is beautiful. Fire Quartz. The next one we're going to do is another glitter. It's called 509 M110C. Beautiful. This is what it look like in the jar. And this is what it look like on the swatch. I know y'all, I'm probably getting grabbing too much of this, but I'm just so excited to show y'all these colors. My gosh, look at this. Look at that. Look at that. Look at this. How pretty that glitter is. This is really pretty. And this is 509. Look at that. Oh, yes, baby. Yes. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. And then I picked up one. Soft white. Um, I got this for pretty much milk bath nails. Yeah. All right. Enough of that. Soft white. Just your basic white. This is what it looked like on the brush. And this is what it looked like on the mat. Real pretty. 
Yep, I put a little bit too much monomer. With the whites, I tend to kind of drain a lot of monomer. I don't know why I didn't do that, but I tend to drain it. But that's what it looked like, y'all. Yeah. And you don't want to chase the bead around this mat, so, you know. If you're chasing it, you probably got too much monomer. Drain some of that off on your towel. All right, that's soft white. And this is what it looked like on a swatch stick. Real pretty. I'm going to try some milk bath nails with this. And let me go on here and, oh, okay. we can. And these come up easy, so you can just take it boop right off. There we go. I'm going to leave these other ones on there for a little bit so we can kind of get them to dry and we can pull them off. The next color I'm going to swatch for you is 321. This is a autumn color. I love glitter, but it's like an orange um, fall light glitter, orangey red glitter. Let me go and swatch that for y'all. Yeah, that's what they look like. Y'all, look at this mess. It's me, y'all. It, it's not, nobody else. It's just me. It's not this acrylic. It's me. And that's this color here. 321. Let me get the swatch stick. And this is what it looks like on the swatch stick. 321 cleaning out my brush and this is youthful coral this is like a coral orangey color it's subtle I like it for the most part let's see and here we go on the mat There it go. That is Youthful Coral. And here it is on the swatch stick. Real pretty. And then I have 508. This another glitter. This is what it looks like in a jar. Okay, and this is what it looks like swatched. This is what it looks like on a mat, but the swatch stick is real pretty. Y'all gonna like that one. And this is 508. Look at this. Look how pretty that is. That is beautiful, y'all. That's 508. Let's see what else we got here. We already done swatched you. Get on out the way. Okay, so we got Vivid Violet next on the docket. <laughs> Vivid Violet. look like on the the brush and this is what it looks like swatch real pretty purple real real pretty purple and this is vivid violet kind of marbled a little bit but that's okay we're gonna fix it And this is one of my favorites. Um, it's comparable to a um, very uh, expensive brand. Um, it's 173 from Dynamic. But I'm gonna buy the other one and we're gonna do some comparisons, even with the nail polish. They all look similar. So when I get a chance to order from them, I will 
definitely be doing a video, a comparison video. This is 173. And it's like a peach with some glitter in it. It actually has three different, I feel like it has three different competitors. Um, three different types of acrylic, other acrylics that are similar to this one. I'm going to get all three. I have two. I have, no, I have one of the three. So I got to order the other two. And we're going to compare them because I got to know. And that is 173. And this is it swatched. That's that. The next one up, oh my goodness, y'all. Is this pretty glitter. I don't know what that say. I just do a T10. Um, this is probably one of my favorite ones. Look at this. But watch. But just watch. Don't believe me? Just watch. Look at this. If you like pink. And you like mermaid type, whimsical type stuff, this is it. That's it. That's it right there. There it go. That is so beautiful. But wait till I hold this swatch stick up. You just wait. Just wait till I hold it up. Look at this. This is probably my favorite one out of all of them. Look at that beautiful just beautiful man and like i said i call it um it's it's called p-i-d-t one zero i'm gonna link this one because it's kind of hard to find on the website um i'm gonna link it individually down below so that if you're interested in it you'll de you'll definitely be able to pick it up and see these easily just come off your mat so it doesn't damage this mat. You can use this for years and years if you're taking care of this mat properly. Um, all right, let's get into this next one, which is 130 Nude. 130 Nude. Let's see. One thirty Nude. Let's see here. And if you made it this far, y'all, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Um, leave me a comment down below if you want to see me um, test out some other acrylic brands. Please leave it in the comments. You got questions, leave it in the comments. And make sure you hit the notification bell so that we can go ahead and get y'all on the trill train. And get y'all some of these you know these videos out to y'all because i know y'all be wanting the information and i got it to give baby so go on ahead and hit the subscribe button all right and that is nude and this is it on a swatch stick it's really really pretty i do like it it's a little light it's light for me um but i'm still using it <laughs> Still going to use it, baby. All right, we down to the last four, y'all. We down to the last four. And I'm going to go on ahead and do salmon. Salmon. The L is silent, y'all. The L is silent. Salmon. And let's say it together. Salmon. Not salmon. Salmon. My bad, y'all. But this is salmon. I mean salmon. <laughs> gotcha. All right, this is a real pretty pink, y'all. I love this. I love it. They go on like butter. Buttermilk biscuit. All right. That is salmon for y'all. And this is salmon on a cool swatch stick. And we is down to our last three, y'all. All right. So I'm going to do 155, which is kind of, it's a nude. So let's go ahead and get this out the way. All 
all right that is 155 new that is real pretty i think that would be excellent up against um wc skin tones beautiful and this is it on a swatch stick 155 and our last two this one is gold flakes they're both a gold color but they're beautiful y'all this one is gold flakes this would look like in a jar and I have something similar to this in another brand, um, but it's silver, and it's so pretty. It's just like this, but in silver. And I'm going to do a video on that, too. And this is focus. Okay. And this is gold flakes. That is gold flakes, and here it is on the swatch. Y'all, that's pretty. Look at that. Beautiful. That's gold flakes. And last but not least, this is um, considered another fall color according to their website. And this is... It's on the swatch stick. I'm sorry. I had to show it because I do like the color. It's 320 Looks like this in a jar. I mean, because I want to get some of that acrylic on here and not have it do like it just did with the other one. Look at that. Beautiful. I feel like this is like summer or fall. This Y'all get the gist. I be having a hard time with these ones. But we're going to get it together. And there it is. Now, if you have made it this far in this video, please go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell to get future updates on the videos that I have coming to y'all. My next video, I'm going to be doing the dynamic um, beauty I'm sorry, Dynamic um, Nail Supply Gel Polishes here. I bought a few of these along with they, um, they top coat and a blooming gel. So please go ahead and hit that notification bell and stay tuned for that. And thank you if you have already subscribed. I am over 300 subscribers at this time. So thank you guys for all your support. I really, truly appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. And until the next video, peace.